What's going on guys? It's me, Dream Lotta Fan 2016 here, and today we have the Gemini Jets February slash March 2024 releases for you guys. I'm eager to see if Gemini Jets can, well, in like short sentence like a short sentence, do much better than NG models because NG's March releases weren't really as great. There wasn't really much anything that I do want to get from that release set. But let's see if Gemini Jets can do much better than that. So yeah, so I think like the hints for like the I think the countdown for the February slash March releases were like hinted out like somewhere in the weekend, the weekend of like the 24th to 25th. And yeah, here here we are. We're gonna be reacting to them. Um currently recording this, like cause like cause I think like oh yeah, the Gemini Jets releases get released at 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time and it's like 123 for me. So kinda came in a bit late. But here we have the releases right here. Ooh, I'm gonna see which ones are gonna be released. So, I saw like in the countdowns that it's gonna be a, there's gonna be like a lot of Delta. So, I'm gonna see. Ooh, really excited to see what Gemini Jets has for February slash March. And this is like the second time in like a year they did like a February slash March release. They did one for 2023, and now they're doing it for 2024. I think it has to deal with like the Chinese New Year celebration that China has like been doing. So, I understand, but. Nevertheless, let's take a look at these. So, as you can see, these are the January releases. Surprisingly enough, and this is like the first time this has ever happened, the Delta CIJ900 is not listed as sold out, which is kind of like really historic right here because the CIJ900 is, well, the CIJ900 for Delta is known for that model to be sold out in like a snap of a finger. But I think Todd, what he did, like, he knows that the situation, the Delta CIJ900 situation, and therefore, I think they wanted like the employees to make as many Delta CIJ900, so everybody should not miss out on them. So, here it is right there, looking very nice. Some complain that the main landing gear are backwards, but I'm going to see how that looks like. And then we have the Delta 757 widget, which looks absolutely incredible. Wow. Really love those details from Gemini Jets right there. And that's where like the... Gemini Maxes, everything is available. Well, the Flaps Down 787-10 from United is listed as sold out, which is unfortunate. And as for the 1 200 lineup, nothing. Nothing has been sold. Well, we kind of like, kind of went a little bit far back, like went a little bit too much on there, but we have everything by it now in 1 200. So here we are in the Gemini Jets February slash March releases. I'm eager to see what Gemini Jets has in store. So, with that being said, don't want to waste further time, and let's get started with the Gemini Jets February slash March 2024 releases. So, let's do it, everybody. So, let's get started with our first model in 1 400 scale. Let's see what we have first. We should have an Air Canada Cargo Boeing 767 300. So, here it is right there. It's a 300F. Looking very nice. This is in their new livery. I think I'll say new livery, but this livery is introduced back in like 2017. So, it's I would just call it current livery. Now, so yeah, here's the Air Canada cargo livery on the Air Canada 767. Looking very nice. Registration of that aircraft is Charlie Golf X8 Hotel Mike, and the price is $58.95. $58.95. So, I kind of like was speculating there might be a price increase this month because, like, Gemini Jets would always increase like their prices on the MSRP every single February. So, not sure this is gonna be happening, but that's the 767, it's 5895. But we'll just have to wait and see for the others. I kinda like hinted out, I think one time in Connor's live stream that oh maybe Gemini Jets might increase their prices for February. So we'll just have to wait and see. But we have that right there. So let's get down to like the second one. Next up we should have is the Air Canada Jets Airbus A320. Oh wait, I think this is in the yes, it's in like the reverse livery, so like the black livery. So this is what it looks like right there. It looks very cool. I wish Air Canada would stick with this livery instead of like the, the one they currently have. But I think to make it like separate from Gemini Jets, and not Gemini Jets, from Air Canada and Air Canada Jets, the livery on Air Canada Jets is reversed. So as you can see, it's black on like mainly part of the, the main part of the fuselage is black, and then the underbelly is white. So do like what they did here. Once again, I do wish this livery was on all of Air Canada's fleet. So. The registration of that aircraft is Charlie for Boxtrot, November Victor Victor. Edgy Malls did this first, so I think it was somewhere around 2023, maybe. And the price for that model is 52.95. As I look in 
January. Um, I don't see any 8 to 20, so not sure. Yeah, I don't see any 8 to 20s. Oh, 5295. So, take this Boeing 737. This is like a main narrow body plane. So, here it is Boeing 737. I do want to take that. Uh, so, this is the 737 700. The price is, the price is 5295. And as I scroll down, it's 5295 also for the Air Canada, Canada Jets 8 to 20. So, no price increase. Surprisingly enough. Wasn't expecting Gemini Jets to stick with the same price for February and March 2024, but that's great. I can't complain too much, but that's great news. No price increase for February. We'll just have to wait to see. Not sure if they're gonna do it or not, but yeah, price remains the same. Next up, we should have is and I'm a wow. Okay, wow. Ooh, okay, nice. American Airlines Airbus A321 in the PSA Retro Heritage Livery. This aircraft is really, really special for me for various reasons. Not gonna go into it in a further moment, but really interesting that Gemini Jets is starting off the PSA, the American Heritage aircraft with PSA Retro. Well, Gemini Jets is gonna be making the PSA Retro first. So here it is, PSA Retro Livery on the AT21. A very special aircraft as this aircraft is registered November 582 Uniform Whiskey, which, yes, I did flew this exact aircraft before she was painted into the PSA Retro back when she was in the standard American Airlines colors. I had a flight, so the flight was from June 24th, 2023. I had done my Airlines International 2023 trip. I flew this exact registration from Sac from not Sacramento from Dallas Fort Worth International Airport to Sacramento International Airport. Wow, I was like really beyond dumbfounded when I found out this plane was painted in this livery. So wow, that is incredible. And yeah, that flight it was a very fun flight. I'll say, I love the flight crew. American Airlines Kodiak product is really amazing. I think I was yeah I was seated somewhere in the starboard side. So. I think it was 23F is when I, where I was seated at. So, really nice to see Gemini Jets going for this model. I may, cool. It's like a tough decision. Cause like, should I wait for the NG or get the Gemini Jets version of this model right here? I mean, like, NG, of course, they made their 8 to 21 molds. I hope NG can actually do the PSA retro, but definitely I'll be getting this model if ever NG releases that model, but if there's like some alternate plans, then maybe I'll just go for the Gemini Jets version of this aircraft right here and probably go for the NG later. But I do want this model to be released in 1 200 scale because I do want to get this aircraft in 1 200 scale because it's a very special registration, a very special livery, and I'm really fortunate to fly on November 582 Uniform Whiskey on June 24th, 2023. Very awesome right there. So, of course, the price is the same as the Air Canada Jets A220, so really love to see it. Alright, next up, we should have... Now we're going for Piedmont Heritage. Nice. Nice stuff right here from Gemini Jets. Now they're releasing the PSA... Not PSA. Piedmont Retro Livery on November 581 Uniform Whiskey. So, I think... Yeah, it was like... It was PSA and Piedmont that were painted into A221s first. So, same song, second verse. I wish NG can actually do this too. But other than that, if you want to get the Gemini version, then you can get it. But... Yeah, I have not seen Piedmont yet, nor I have not seen it in the AT19. So hopefully I can catch Piedmont on the AT21 because I would like to see the Piedmont Retro Livery. Therefore, I do want to complete the entire lineup right there of planes. So yeah, really cool stuff right there. Once again, the registration is November 501 Uniform Whiskey. And the price is pretty much the same as the PSA Retro Jet. Moving on downwards, next up we should have... A British Airways Boeing 777-300ER. Really nice stuff right here for the British collectors. There she is right there. Um, hopefully it's in the JC Wings mold. Hopefully it has the flaps down counterparts. Because I have not gotten like a 777-300ER from British Airways. I would also like to add that to my collection as well. Therefore, I have not got like a JC Wings mold of a Boeing 777 yet. So, I'm eager to see if this can actually be the... What is that? Can actually be released with the JC Wings mold. And yeah, I've seen a couple of these planes in SFO. So they would like sometimes come here 
often. Like, they would come here every day, but not, like, every single time. But they also got the AT-80s as well. So that aircraft was registered, Gulf Sierra Tango Bravo Hotel. And the price is $63.95. That's our fee price. Not sure if I saw this plane, but who knows. But maybe I did. Maybe one time in SFO. You never know. Next up. There we go. So here is the flaps down variant. So yes, this will be in the J-Swings mold. So I'm really fortunate to have that. Not sure if I want to decide getting this model yet. Of course, I do want to like build up my British Airways collection. But this should be a very nice model once again for the BA collectors. So the price is now $67.95, which is a $4 price increase. So yeah, very, very nice to see right there. Alright, next up. So what you have is a... Sal wow! Okay! Southwest Boeing 737-800 in the Nevada One livery. So... This is interesting right here, because like, I know NG models, they would always release a state livery, like, whenever, like... Because like... What am I saying? So, NG models would always release this state livery first before Gemini Jets do. But this is kind of like switcheroo because now Gemini Jets is doing Nevada 1 first and 1 for on scale. And yeah, NG models, I'm not sure what's going on with them. But hopefully, NG can also release Nevada 1 too. But yeah, I'll just have to wait and see. So, that aircraft is registered November 8646 Bravo. I did get to see this aircraft back in Sacramento International Airport back in November 2023. I got a very nice shot of her when she was about to depart on 3-5 left. It was during the morning time and therefore, really glad to see the new Nevada one. I saw it on the 700, that was my last time seeing her, but I'm glad to see her on the 800. Not sure if I want to get this, because like I know it's kind of like controversial for Gemini 737-800 molds. I'm not sure if I do want to get this or Kind of like a tough decision. Maybe I think I would rather just hold this off and probably wait for NG to do this. Cause like I know NG 737 molds is, cause like I want like a very nice special Libby on a superior mold than the NG one would pretty much say to take the cake on that one if ever NG decides to do Nevada one in the future on the 800. So here's the price right there. Same price as all the normal body planes. So really nice to see right there. Alright, next up, we should have is a Transavia Airbus A321neo. I think this might... Wow, okay, so we're going a little bit reverse right here. So, not so what's up with the CGI image of this plane, to be honest. It looks kind of like... I don't know. And, yeah, the, the plane's facing its starboard side. Not too wide, though, but really quite, quite shocking. I was gonna say interesting, but I don't want to say that word too many times. But really cool right here. So you got the Transavia livery, and yeah, very nice for the. I think it's the French collectors. Yeah, French collectors. Yeah, Foxtrot Golf November S. What am I saying? So this aircraft is registered Foxtrot Golf November Echo Oscar, and of course the price is pretty much the same as for the narrow body planes, fifty two ninety five. Next up. We should have wow okay so we're getting another air wait oh this is a fantasy livery ah i see so we're getting a fantasy well fantasy livery we might say it's a fantasy livery but we do have air force one on the 747 that shape so here she is right here really cool so this is a bc 25b so i have not seen air force one on a 747 that shape yet so this is kind of like a fantasy livery but it looks very cool on the dash shade, just as much as like the 747-200 or BC-25A. But the thing is like, there's no Air Force One livery on the 747 dash shade yet. So I would say this can be considered as a fantasy livery because of that. But under that, I do like this livery on this aircraft. And yeah, it should look very nice once it is in service to fly the President of the United States. So that aircraft has the serial number or registration three uh okay uh thirty th thousand yeah thirty thousand three zero 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 and the price is seven four ninety five. So yeah, very very cool right here from Gemini Jets to release Air Force One on the dash shape or BC twenty five B. And then we have a WestJet seven thirty seven six hundred to follow that up. Nice small for the Canadian collectors. This is this has like the old WestJet title, so it has a square instead of the leaf. This aircraft, or 
this aircraft in particular is retired from the WestJet fleet, so no 737-600s are flying with WestJet anymore, which is sad. But at least we're getting a model out of this for the Canadian collectors. So this aircraft is registered, registered Charlie Gulf with the Sierra Lima. And the price, of course, your same typical price for every narrow-body jet. And that's gonna do it for the one for hundred section. So, this is quite an interesting set, I'll say. I do like the fact they released the Piedmont and PSA Retro. And I like this Nevada One edition as well, so very nice. I do... I may try to get the British 777-300ER, but that might be on hold because, like, I don't want to, like, get as many internationals from my collections because I do want to save. The Air Force One 747-8 Intercontinental or Dash 8i BC-25B is also nice, but other than that, that's your one for release set from Gemini Jets. I think it's an okay. I, not really exactly okay. I think this release set in one point scale is good. I do like the various varieties right here, and overall. They look very nice. Mainly a lot of North American stuff. We got a couple of, well, two European releases, but other than that, a lot of, well, like, it's a heavy unit of North American stuff right here. So very nice. And let's see, so now we're moving on to the 1400 section, not 1400, 1200 section for the release set. So let's start off with, let's see what we have first. We first have, so we're now getting Charlie Foxtrot November Victor Victor in 1200 scale now, so. They're releasing this livery, this plane, in 1400 and 1200 in the same month. So really nice to see right there from Gemini Jets. And yeah, this is what Gemini Jets should kind of like do more often. They should release this in 1200 and 1400 scale, all in the same month. So that's pretty cool right there. And yeah, same song, second verse, but now in 1200 scale, and the price is $104.95. So no price increases for the 1400 sec, not 1200 section. I mean. So very nice to see, here's a Virgin Australia Max 8, that costs $104.95, so it's the same price, so love to see it right there. Next up we should have is Air France 777-300ER, really cool stuff right here. So here she is right there, Charlie Fox, not Charlie Fox, I was reading, rereading the Air Canada plane. So here's the Air France 333, a very interesting aircraft right there, and, well, interesting, but a very nice addition to the, what am I saying, okay, um, what was I gonna say? <laughs> uh, it's a nice addition to the international fleet for the French collectors right here. So that aircraft is registered Fox Truck Gulf Zulu November Hotel, and the price is $156.95. Next up, I think we should have a flaps down. Do we have a flaps down? Okay, so we do. So nothing really too special. Same song, second verse, but now we're getting the flaps down variant, and we're getting a $10 price increase as well. $166.95. It comes at the total for the MSRP. Alright, next up, we have... Okay, so now we're getting We're getting three Air France planes. We're getting an Air France Hop Ember E190-100 e SD. Okay, so this is... Hmm. Wow. Um, that is... In, that's surprising. I'm not sure what this aircraft is. Maybe it's like a... E190 100 STD. I have never heard about this aircraft before. I think it's like a E190 without winglets, from what I'm guessing. But this is very cool right here, and of course the plane is facing its starboard side, so not sure if this is like a new CGI variant for Gemini Jets right here, but it's very cool right here. The registration of that plane is Fox Art Hotel, Bravo, Lima November. The price comes in at $96.95. And we're gonna be moving on downwards. Next up, we should have is wow, this is really cool. So we have a Canadian, I think this is a Canadian Air Force Airbus A330. Ooh, C330 C330 Husky. So we're getting a Government of Canada or Royal Canadian Air Force Airbus CC330 Husky. So the CC330 Husky is basically the military variant of the Airbus A330, specifically made for the Canadian Air Force. So NG did this first somewhere maybe December? I think it was the December 2022 releases. And now Gemini Jets is go do it on their take for their A330 mold right here. So really cool to see. And yeah, the livery looks very nice on this aircraft. I do like the various like the swoop on the red and then you got the like the bluish underbelly. It's kinda like blue underbelly, like an ocean blue underbelly. It looks very nice and yeah. 
very cool to see right there. So this aircraft is registered. Well, maybe this could be the serial number, but this could be the registration. So it's 330002. And the price is $159.95. And now we move on. And we're getting the Delta 757-200 widget livery OG widget in 1-200 scale after they released it last month for January 2024. So, love the addition for this 1-200 model right here. And overall, the widget livery for Delta Airlines is fantastic. I love this livery so much. Probably my favorite, this could be my favorite Delta livery other than upward and onward. But, really cool to see right here. And yeah. Jenna Jets doing the work in the 1-200 department. So this aircraft is registered November 607 Delta Lima and the price is $107.95. Alright, moving on downwards, let's see. Here we have, wow, Lufthansa Boeing 747-400 coming in at 1-200 scale. Very cool right here. So here she is, Lufthansa 747-400. I think it's been a while since Gemini Jets has ever done like a 7412 passenger 747-400. And now here she is right there in Lufthansa's current livery registered Delta Alpha Bravo Victor Yankee. Really cool right here and it should be a nice addition for all the Lufthansa fans, 747 fans, and the collectors in Germany. So very nice to see right here. That aircraft, well I already read the aircraft registration but the price is $192.95, excuse me. So that's that. Next up. Okay, so we're gonna have the flaps down variant. Same song, second verse. We're getting the flaps down variant of this aircraft right here. So nothing to complain about. But look at the price. $201.95. I. Is that like a. Okay, let me count. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That's like a $9 price increase. Close to $10. So. That's that's a lot of money. That's like a lot of money for a flap down snub for 400 right there. So yes, can't complain, but that's how money works. That's all I can really say. You get what you paid for. <laughs> oh, excuse me. You get what you paid for is what I'm supposed to say. But that's money right there. That's money. All right, moving on downwards. We're gonna move on. Just going down. We have the Spirit Airlines Airbus A321 Neo coming in in one to one scale. I think they released this. Probably it was in the December 2023 releases when they released this model in one to one scale, along with that Southwest Desert Retro. Not Desert Retro. The Retro. Oh, what am I saying? Southwest Desert 727. So here she is right there in one to one scale. Yeah, very nice for the Spirit Collective right here. Registered this aircraft. The registration of the plane is November 702, November 2. I think I may have saw a U.S. Air Force plane right there, so let's go down. We have a Boeing 75. Oh, Air Force 2. Wow, nice. Really cool right here. So here she is. Air Force 2, a Boeing C-32A. So here she is right there. I'm going to see if they're going to release this in one point on scale next month. Because I do, like, I think I missed out on the previous Air Force 2 release. So hope this can be released in one point on scale next month. So here she is right there. Air Force 2. That aircraft is registered 999-0004 and the price is 111 dollars and 95 cents. So that's Air Force 2 right there, C32A. And that's gonna do it for the February slash March releases. So overall, I think this maybe this can be a much more better set than NG's March releases. Not sure why NG Mall has been on the gutter as of late, but we do have Gemini's March, February slash March releases, and I honestly, I think what Gemini just, uh, like, what am I saying? Uh, I think Gemini just does a better job on, like, making sure which aircraft is released. I do like the fact they have the PSA Retro and the Allegheny, not Allegheny, the Piedmont Retro added into the lineup in one point of scale. I also like the addition to Nevada 1, and we also get a couple of North American stuff and European stuff, like the British 777, and WestJet 737-600. But they did have a loaded 1 200 lineup right there. So look at this. Well, there's like three Air Frances right here, but I'm not going to complain right there. It should be perfect for the French collectors. And then we have the Delta 757 200 right there. Retro livery. Retro livery. Oh, what, am I, what is that? Oh, yeah, the OG widget livery. And then we have the Air Canada Jets and the Spirits. So overall, I think Gemini Jets did a much more better job on this release set than NG did. I hope NG can actually come back for the April set. But we'll just have to wait, wait and see. 
and I'm eager to see what Gemini Jets has for their April set as well. And hopefully it's much more better than the previous April set they did in 2023. But I'm just have to wait and see. But other than that, good release set from Gemini Jets. I would give this an overall score of, I would say like 87%. It's good, but they're kind of like, they kind of seem to be lacking on some Asian models, which I don't think I see any like Asian models at all in this release set. But other than that, it's still good, and Gemini Jets continuing what they do best. And yeah, can't complain, because they are, them and NG models are amazing. So, that's it for today's video, so hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel, and turn on that post notification bell so you won't miss a video like this anytime soon. So, that's it for today's video, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Anyways, good night.